Here is part two of my climbing session with Paul Robinson. He came up with a training plan for me that is a lot more advanced than the handball workout I did myself. Enjoy. We will do a small workout that you can add into a climbing session. So like, you know, that was a nice climbing session. Now you're like, okay, I'm feeling tired. I feel like I'm digressing on the climbs and I'm gonna do a little bit of training now to finish my session. That's usually what I do. Like I'll climb for two hours mm -hmm. on the boulders and then the last like 45 minutes to an hour, I'll kind of come up to like an area like this at my gym mm -hmm. and I will just do workouts. Different interesting workouts that I feel benefit me for climbing. I would say if you're climbing three to four days a week, only do this one to two times max, okay? We don't wanna create any injuries. What I always do is I will pick a number of pull-ups that I wanna do. So usually like what I'll do is at the end of a workout, I will do 10 sets of 10 pull-ups to get to 100, okay? okay? So with you, how about three pull-ups? How does three pull-ups? So you could do that a couple times? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. let's have you grab this hold mm -hmm. and let's have you do three pull-ups. Okay, perfect. And what I like to do with the pull-ups is I like to switch it up, you know? Every gym's different, every hangboard's a little bit different. So if you're at home or you're at the climbing gym, it doesn't really matter, you know? Do your first set of three pull-ups on this one. Do your second three on this jug. Do your next set on these crimps, like do your next set on the slopers. Like it doesn't matter. You're just trying to do your set. One arm hangs are really good too. Can you hang from this with one arm? Three, four, five. Perfect. Once you can hang that for seven to 10 seconds, then it's too easy, okay? Mm -hmm. That was about five, which is perfect. Four to five seconds is the ideal amount that you wanna hold. Mm -hmm. Once you can hang it for five seconds, grab a five pound weight, same thing. Hang with the five pounds in your other hand. And then as soon as you get to like 15 pounds, then you need to find a new hold because mm -hmm. then this is too easy. So then you'll come to this one and you'll do zero pounds. Mm -hmm. Then you'll do five, then you'll do 10, then you'll do 15, and then you'll say, okay, now I need to find a new hold. One set though would be five seconds with the left, and then five seconds with the right. Can you hang from this? Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is five second hang, five second rest, five second hang, five second rest. We're gonna do that five times, okay? So, hang. Okay, down. And hang. Down. Hang. So how did that feel? That felt tough. Good, perfect. So this one right here is for power. And so what we're gonna do is you're gonna hang and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this and you're gonna go as far as you can, okay? And you just touch, you know, you can have whomever, like see exactly where you get to and then you can try each time to get a little bit higher. With this one, you're gonna do one side with the right and then one side with the left, mm -hmm. okay? Let's see where you can get to. Good, so you got to the red 80. You got to the blue one right below 80. That's pretty even, that's great. It's important to kind of have that campus strength of just being able to go as far as you can and push something down really far. One that I really like to do, you can start on the bottom one and then what you do is you go up one and then back down. Up two and then back down. Up three and then back down. Up four and then back down. Okay? And you just go as high as you possibly can. And then you do the same thing with the right. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? No, oh yeah, there you go. Good. 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 Come on, to the third one. Yes! Yeah, and always start matched. Like this, that time you started like this, mm -hmm. but always start match. Mm -hmm. Good. Come on. Good. Good. Come on, just slap for it. Yes! Definitely don't do the smaller rungs. When I campus, I still only use the big ones. I like to use the big ones because they're more comfortable and it allows you to really kind of like pull through them a lot more. This one will be skip one, pull through to the next one. So skip one and then pull through and match. Okay, very simple. 
skip one, and then go to the next one. So it's not skip one, skip one. Basically what it does is when you go one, two, three, like that, now it's increasing that gap, but not making it double the distance. You're just going skip one and then next one. Okay, so try that. Good, and then the next one. Good, and then match, good. Always match the last one. I like that, that's a nice little workout. Also, I don't recommend, if, and you've probably seen it in videos, I don't recommend this. Okay, that's really demanding on your tendons, okay? And when we're climbing, we just climb for two hours. We never did this, not even once. I think it's too demanding on your tendons and it's not applicable to what you're gonna see inside, outside, whatever, okay? So that is a very easy way to injure yourself. This is a very advanced one, but a good one to know about for the future. You start one hand on one side and the other hand on the other side, like this, okay? And you go like this. And you cross all the way to the other side and you try and go all the way to the top, okay? But just, you know, for the future, mm -hmm. when campusing starts to get too easy and then you can implement this into the training. Right. But that's really nice too, because that's isolation strength. You know, getting into a position and being able to move to a new position without your body spinning out of control, mm -hmm. even though you don't have feet to help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very core intensive, very shoulder intensive, very finger intensive. Mm -hmm. So, good advanced one. So let's say the ab roller is a workout. Mm -hmm. Sit-ups is also a workout. Uh, Push-ups is also a workout. And then when you come in for a day after a day of climbing, just choose five, whatever ones you wanna do, doesn't matter. And then each time you come, you can choose different five, mm -hmm. so it doesn't get too boring. Within a month, some of these workouts that I give you now are gonna start to feel a little too easy. So what I like about all of these workouts that I've given you is that they can easily be made harder. So for instance, this skip one can turn into skip two, pull through to the next one. Okay, mm -hmm. so why don't we do one rotation? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's pick five. And then in between, you know, 15 to 20 seconds, totally fine. You want to succeed at what your next thing is. So rest long enough that you're pretty sure that you will get through the exercise, mm -hmm. okay? Good. Five. Good. Two. One. Down. Nice job. And so do that rotation three times. And then in between the rotations, rest five minutes. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Of course. By. It was awesome. I'm glad we got to work this out. And, this awesome. and, you know, next time I'm here, hopefully we can climb again. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. I was actually a bit nervous prior to meeting up with Paul, but I'm really impressed with how down to earth and how charming Paul was. Just in case you don't know yet, Paul actually has a YouTube channel himself. There are videos about training, what life is like for a professional rock climber, and a lot of great videos. So make sure to check them out if you haven't. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.